Daven, and I'm in Portland, Medina de America. Now, if I could pronounce that a little better, I would have been saying something along the lines of, Hi, I'm Daven, and I live in, this, in Portland, a city in America. Now, a couple of the Yes students have made vlogs, which I think is totally awesome, so I decided to borrow slash steal their idea and make one of my own. Though I'm also pretty sure I'll be nowhere near as good at it as they are. Oh well, we'll try anyway. Next year, I'm studying abroad in Oman. Where is Oman? Oman. 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 Very poorly drawn map of Oman. By yours truly. Now, why am I lucky enough to be having an awesome experience like this? Well, it's because of a little program called the Kennedy Luger Yes Abroad Consortium. The Yes program was originally started in the aftermath of September 11, 2001. Originally, the program was for students from countries with high Muslim populations to study abroad in the U.S. But the program went so well, it was decided that a reciprocal exchange would probably be just as productive. So that's where I get lucky. For a couple of years now, Yes Abroad has been sending American students to study in a variety of countries with high Muslim populations, such as Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, India, Morocco, Tunisia, Egypt, South Africa, Mali, Ghana, Turkey, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and of course, Oman. Now, since Oman is a country with a high Muslim population, I'll need to be respectful of the people there. So this shirt, it's gotta go. skirts, so this is going to be interesting for me. <laughs> also, in Oman, they don't speak English. They speak this other language called Arabic. You may have heard of it. So, to get ready to go to Oman, I'm learning to speak Arabic. You heard a little bit of my butchery of the language at the beginning, but I'll show you a couple of the things I'm using to learn it. Read and speak Arabic. This book is totally awesome. Mostly it's helping me with my reading. See? I can read these things. I'm cool. It's also helping me a little, a little bit with my writing. I think this might be my name. Then again, it might not be. I know I'm doing horribly at this. Of course, we have this lovely book for small children. Now, when learning a foreign language, I highly recommend books for small children. They have pictures. They have words. It's all very helpful. Now, obviously, Oman has a bit of a different culture than the States. So I have been reading extensively about Oman. This is a really good book, and though it's kind of travel writing, which is fine, but I'm not traveling, I'm living, and studying. Yes Abroad is also helping me get ready for my exchange year. For instance, here is my, my finalist handbook. For instance, until 1971, Oman was ruled by a sultan who maybe didn't have his people's best interest in mind. When his son, Sultan Cabos, took over, the whole country changed. For instance, before 1971, there was, like, three schools in the country, not very many roads, not very many libraries or postal services, and did I mention those three schools were for boys? Now, Sultan Cables changed everything. He built an infrastructure for his country and helped modernize it in a bunch of ways. But it wasn't modernization at any cost, either. Sultan Cables believed, and still believes, that his country's culture is amazing, which he's right about, and he wants to preserve it as much as he can. Believe me, if you have any questions about Oman, you should not ask me because I will just talk at you for about three hours and probably not answer your question anyway. So, bad plan. <laughs> Did you know that statistically there are four date palms for every Omani inhabitant? Did you know that rugged mountains and extensive oases characterize northern Oman? Did you know that in Oman women play a significant role in society? Did you know that 37% of Omanis are employed in agriculture? No. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Yeah, I might be a little obsessed. Well, folks, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed my very weird video about strange topics that is very poorly edited. <laughs> so, maybe I'll make another one of these later. They're kind of fun. But for now, shukran wa masalam.